It's race day in Belgium, ladies and gentlemen, and we are first and second on the grid. We've locked out the front row, if you'd believe that. Whether we continue to lock out the front row at the end of the race, though, I'm not so sure. Maybe we might get a couple of points out of this, but hey, stay tuned, eh? It's Season 1, Episode 14 of Race to the Top. I'm Ian, and in today's episode, we do have a race in Belgium. We are locking out the front row of the grid. As you can see, there's two... Two white cars there, first and second, if you'll believe that. And we've got a pretty good opportunity. We've got soft tyres. I deliberately went for the soft tyres in practice because I sort of thought, well, we're going to be near the back. So let's go the soft tyres and let's just, you know, get, get some laps going. But now we're leading off from the race start. We may have to go to the super soft tyres. I didn't really want to do that, but we sort of, you know, it sort of forced our hand a little bit. So we are going to start on the super soft. And we don't have that that knowledge, which is a, a bit of a shame. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, if the rain comes down, it looks like the rain's going to last. It isn't coming just yet. We, we, you can see the lap 10, there's still no rain on the track. And uh, track temperature staying at 13 degrees. So maybe the rain will come in. Maybe, maybe not. Um, the super softs, if we have a quick look then, uh, just before we get to the grid, you can actually see the super softs are lasting around 26 laps. Um, Whereas the softs can last sort of 43 laps, and it's only a 42 lap race. So I think if we go the super softs as long as we can, and then that moment that we start seeing the the tyres starting to grain a bit too much, we put them onto the softs and then just just hold on. Hopefully, just hold on to the end of the race. Um, we are going to burn through a lot more fuel at the start. I'm thinking let's let's you know try and build up a bit of a lead because that's going to start being closed down we don't want to get stuck in in traffic um, so we're going to be burning through a lot of fuel and then we're going to go into to fuel conservation mode uh, in the last sort of let's say two-thirds of the race um, and, and see what happens when we just go onto the softs that's the plan whether it works I guess we'll have to wait and see <clears throat> let's go to the grid for today's race so there you go we got Mawson on pole that's his first of the season from memory uh, or is it his second I'm not sure with Julian Falcaro next to him his teammate on the second row we got Lando Norris with his best performance in qualifying of the season uh, Makino next to him in fourth I think that's his best as well Marino Sato in fifth with Mick Schumacher in sixth then you've got Ralph Aaron in seventh Joel Erickson starting on the softs in eighth on the fifth row you've got Dara Vala with Maximilian Gunther next to him for company and then on the sixth row we got Mikkel Jensen with Alex Palau in 13th place the championship leader Ryan Tavetta with Sasha Hara in 14th place and in 15th place you got Alexander Sims with Harrison Newey from Van Amersford in 16th you drop onto the ninth row Daniel Tickton right the way back in 17th with Pedro Piquet for company he's second in the championship if you'd believe that and on the back row you got Jan Mardenborough who's 10th in the championship with Rail Hyman who's a bit of a sort of um, a quiet man you know he's fourth in the championship and yet you don't really hear too much about him we're not really battling with him in this in the races are we we tend to sort of you know he always beats us or he's just behind us or whatever but we never seem to be battling away with him and he's starting last on the grid but it looks like he's going for the uh the long start as well because he's starting on the softs so fingers crossed fingers crossed that we can get a good result out of this as we are lights out here in Belgium. It's a great start from Mawson. Norris is having a quick look at Falcaro, but they both hold off, and Mawson and Falcaro have pulled away from Norris straight away. Fantastic start, as we'll keep having a look at Tavetta. As Tavetta's moved up into 12th, Falcaro's having a look at Mawson, but they all start closing up for this real tight little chicane, but I'm happy. That's a great start, isn't it? As Mardenborough's had a terrible start. Look how far back he is already. He must have run wide. Um, if we, let's have, who else is is there? So Tavetta's moved up to 11th already. You've got Tictum in 17th. Uh, PK's down in 18th. There's quite a few people are moving around now. Daraval is moving up. Schumacher's dropping quite substantially for Prima Power Team. That's fantastic news because if as long as we can stay well ahead of them, then at least we can finish in the top three in the championship. In fact, if we have a look at the live standings already, I'm up. Uh, talking way too way ahead of myself here we're not even like a, a lap down yet we're leading the championship by quite a way if this stays like this i don't think it will somehow so we're going to back off the driving style just a little bit because we don't want the tires to, to burn through too quickly i'm not too concerned about the fuel at the moment now falcaro is attempting to overtake joey mawson but i'm going to leave things as they are unless one of them starts getting a bit a bit antsy and in fact, there you go, as Falcaro's having a look on the inside, but there's nothing to be doing there. And we're going to speed things up now a little bit as we've got nothing. We've got no one to battle. We're, we're battling ourselves here. Uh, Norris is closing down fraction um, to Falcaro. 
as you can see, you can you might just be able to see him. I don't know how good um, my recording is because you can just see Norris's blue car there. It's, it's quite dark, and again, the, the track's quite dark as well. And we can start lowering the engine modes just a fraction. Again, because of the... Um, the cold temperature it's only 13 degrees we're gonna have to keep an eye on the uh, on the tire temperatures because we're gonna have to keep them hot we're gonna have to push quite hard to keep the the, the tire temperatures at a, a decent level um, but Falcari is starting to fall away a little bit from uh, uh, Mawson now which is allowing Norris who's a second behind as long as it stays a second I'll be quite happy with that because there's actually a bit of a gap there's Norris Makino they're quite close together Daravala is a second and a half now and he's, he's really moving up the field um, he's a second and a half behind so that's that's quite promising for us if they can keep that big gap there we'll cut to Falcaro so we can see him because there's a bit more action for him than watching Mawson way out in front and we can start slowly backing off um, engine modes now I think that they, they're a lap Def down now. They've got a lap deficit of fuel. So I think we got to sort of be mindful of the fuel because I haven't been paying too much attention as to how quickly the, uh, uh, the the fuel, we can actually conserve fuel. And I don't want to be getting to the halfway stage and suddenly in panic mode because we can't uh, save enough fuel. I certainly don't want another case of Doha again because who wants to watch me fumbling around making stupid mistakes like that all the time? He says jestingly, knowing... Jestingly? Is jestingly a word? I don't know. There you go. That, that, that pretty much sums up my channel, really, doesn't it? I just make loads of mistakes. Um, let's focus on what we should be doing, because Norris is now two seconds behind Falcaro. We're five laps into this race. Keeping an eye on the fuel, uh, the tyre fuel, the, the temperatures, they are climbing that little bit. It seems like neutral isn't enough, and it seems like pushing is just a bit too too much. So the big one we're looking at is Tevedo, who's moved up to sixth. Uh, he's battling away, actually. He must be battling away with Ericsson. Um, now, what has happened here? Julian Falcaro has cut a corner. Oh, no action taken. I wasn't watching. If anyone was watching him there, I'd love to uh, love to have a look at that. I might edit that so you can actually see the replay. That'd be cool. I might try and do something with that in the editing. If, you see a re if you're seeing a replay now, then that was cool. I might put that in the top corner or something, the little R that spins. That'd be really, really cool. Um, yeah, so thankfully no action taken. Because if Falcaro, Falcaro had stuffed up again, like he did in in Portugal, if you made another mistake, then Fuoco's in the next in the next race. It's as simple as that, <clears throat> and that's what the big thing because he's actually being closing. He's actually closing. He's actually being closed down by by Norris a little bit. Mawson's starting to pull away a little bit, um, so I'm going to have to back off their their tyres a, a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm mindful because at the start of the season, I said, you know, we're not expected to do anything. We're expected to come last. Maybe we give Fuoco a couple of races. Um, and yet here we are in race 7 of 8, and we're, we're pushing for the championship. Whether that, that lasts, I don't know. Um, so do we keep with Falcaro, or do we sort of give him a break and let Fuoco have a chance? I think it all hinges on this race result, doesn't it? We're, we're first and second at the moment. Whether that lasts, I'm not so sure. I'm going to be... I'm a natural pessimist, but I think I'm also a realist. I don't think we're going to be able to hold on to first and second. We might be able to hold on to first, though, because Mawson's actually pulling a bit of a lead up the front. But um, I don't expect um, Falcaro to, to do as well as he's doing at the moment. I expect him to fall a little bit back. Um, yeah, look, I think I think we keep Falcaro in the next race. But let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think I should should give uh, Fuoco a go, or do you think it's it's worth just sticking Falcaro and, and Mawson? Because I think, like... Uh, Although Falcaro has been a bit disappointing for me, really, in the grand scheme of things. I know it's, it's easy to say that when, look, at the moment he's third in the championship. But I think it's very, um, it'll be very difficult next year to see Falcaro doing as well as he has. Um, so do we give Fuoco a chance? I don't know. I don't particularly like either of these drivers. I don't think either of them are doing particularly well. Um, and yet, here we sit. Because, um, I mean, if you look at it now, I mean, Falcaro is dropping off a little bit. He's 3.3 seconds behind Mawson already. He's still building a bit of a lead. He's nearly two seconds ahead of Norris, who's being attacked um, quite ferociously there by Makino at the back. You can just see them behind Falcaro there. I'm keeping an eye on Tevedo in sixth place. As I said, he's the one that we don't want to, to be getting too many points. But his teammate Tictum's down in 18th place. But, of course, they're only on the soft tyres. So the race should probably uh, could probably change. I'm keeping an eye as well on the weather. That's the big thing. Um, because they said there's a 40% chance of rain. And if you look, you can see it's cloudy, sunny, cloudy. There could be rain at the end of this race. So do we go super softs again, anticipating rain, 
or do we go onto the softs and just hope that there isn't any rain and that we can go to the end of the race? I don't want to stop too early. That's why I think a lot of people have started on the softs, because I think they figured, well, hey, if there's going to be rain, we can last the softs as long as possible. But, you know, look, my, my race strategy is usually let's just wing it and hope for the best. I think that's why most people play this game, isn't it? I don't think many people sit there with a pen and paper trying to work things out, but we're actually having a bit of a boring race, aren't we? I mean, it, boring in a good way, because Doha was... was it Doha? Doha was boring because nothing was happening until right at the end, and then obviously it all went tits up. This is boring because we're first and second, and we've got no one to battle. Falcaro's holding three and a half seconds to, uh, to Mawson. Norris is, is dropping off a little bit. He's now three seconds behind. So I'm, I'm quite happy with this. I'm, I'm happy as long as things stay the way they are. Um, Tavetta's 8.2 seconds, 8.3 seconds behind Mawson. Um, I don't know how long a pit stop takes uh, in this on this circuit, but you can imagine that if we were sort of pitting now-ish, that Mawson and Hakera would obviously be coming out behind Tavetta, and Tavetta's going to be on the soft tyres, and he's going to be going a lot longer. So we can try and make these last um, quite a decent time. So let's bump up our tyre wear a little bit, just because, as you can see, the tyre temperature's... Um, starting to drop fractionally. We're doing all right for fuel at the moment too, and I don't have to. I don't have to push these guys at the moment, which is really, really promising. Now Kerry's building a, a big lead as well. He's basically he's three and a half seconds behind Mawson, and he's three and a half seconds ahead of Norris in third place. Norris seems to be sort of holding everyone up, which is fantastic for us because it allows us to to keep building on this lead. Um, which is, is crucial because Tavetta's is slowly dropping behind as well. He is on the soft tyres, so as long as we can keep a, a, a decent lead over Tavetta and we don't have any major stuff up with uh, pit stops, I think we may do it. But in saying that, Tavetta has just climbed two places. We'll quickly cut to him now because he's in a, a big sort of... Uh, I can't keep saying gaggle. I say gaggle all the time and I want to use a different, a different word. A big, uh, big group. There you go. That's a, that's a good word to use. A big group of cars there. He's up to fifth, um, but he's 9.1 seconds behind because Makino's holding him up a fraction. Uh, but as you can see, Falcaro's nearly over 4.4 seconds ahead of, uh, of Norris. So as long as we can keep building this lead, by the time we have to pit, we should have a, a bit of a lead over Tavetta. Tavetta's the one we're, we're keeping an eye on. Um, because there you go, at the moment they're only picking up 10 points. So we're going to have a huge lead if things stay the way they are. I can't. We're not going to win the championship though. The way things stand now, Tavetta's already wrapped up that. That's, that's a shame. It would have been nice to have seen him do something. But as you can see, he's starting to fall off the pace from Makino on those super soft tyres. So that is excellent for us. And we're just going to back these guys off a little bit because we're going to have to start thinking of pitting soon. We're at 38%. Falcaro is at 33%. We may have to pit Falcaro first. So what I think I'm going to do is once he goes around this lap, we're going to pit him onto the softs. He's going to be the first one. Mawson's doing well with his tyre wear. There's no point in, in pitting him too soon. Um, Falcaro can come out onto the softs, and we can start to see uh, where he'll he'll come out. Um, once he crosses, goes past the pit lane, because I don't want him to pit too early. There we go. Now let's <clears throat> put him up to full attack mode, and we'll go to high engine mode as well. Why not? Let's go for something a bit interesting. And we're going to pit him for the soft tyres. So he should be able to go the rest of the race now, unless there's some rain coming, which there doesn't look to be. So if he comes out, he's estimated to be out in 20th place. So this is going to be a very slow pit stop because it is a very long pit lane. If you can just see it there, it, it, it's like the old, it's like Spa, obviously. It's uh, it's imitating Spa. It goes right around. So it's a very long pit stop. So you, really, you don't want to be doing multiple pit stops on this circuit. So if we can, uh, he's going to be coming out in last place. But a few people are going to have to start pitting and make sure we're on fast. We want to make sure we're on a fast pit stop, don't we? Um, and we want to do the same with Mawson as well. But he's not doing too bad, actually. Or do we make Falcaro go one more lap? No, I think we I think we keep him on this because he's, he's doing very well. He's closing up quite a lot to Mawson, considering considering it's only been one lap. And he's closing up quite uh, quite substantially. So, let's watch. Let's hope it's a good pit stop. Now, before we do that, we will bump Mawson up as well. And it was a good stop by the looks of things. I didn't see anything bad happening there. So, if he can come out, he's going to be coming out as long as he's right behind the cars. He comes out. He is in last place. There you go. So, he's going to be in a bit of difficulty trying to get past some of these cars because that could affect his race a little bit. So, we may have to look at pitting 
Falcaro now, or do we go around one more time? What's his current tyre wear? I think we go around one more time with Falcaro. We're pushing him quite hard. Let's go around one more time. I may have ruined Falcaro's race. It all depends how, how much he gets stuck behind these cars, doesn't it? Um, as Falcaro's going around once more. So we've pitted... Uh, did I say Falcaro then? Or I meant Mawson. If I said Falcaro, I meant Mawson. Um, because Mawson's there. He's got a 7.8 second lead over Norris now. Um, I think we may have to consider pitting him. I'm keeping an eye on that tyre wear. We don't want him to, to be burning through tyres too quickly. Because Falcaro... He's sort of stuck, isn't he? He's a bit stuck there. And we're still... Because Mawson's still building that lead. So I think we have to pit him now. He's down into 20%. So let's pit him for the softs. And let's hope that he can go to the end of the race. Check out his condition. Because, of course, he's been suffering with condition quite uh, quite badly, really. Um, the whole season. But now we've got our reliability up a little bit. It should make a bit of a difference. Let's hope for a good pit stop, because this would be crucial for the race, and it was a good pit stop. Where does he come out? I didn't actually see it in the bottom left screen, and I think uh, some of you may have seen it. As long as he can get out, and he's not too far. There you go. That's not too bad. He's 13th. He's still got some work to do, of course, but this should help him uh, survive that early on. Because to Veta, he's going to have to pit. Once these guys pit, he's only 13 seconds behind the leader, really, so I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. And we're going to have to start pushing uh, Falcaro because the tyre temperatures are dropping a little bit. It's a lot harder to, to keep that uh, that temperature in these in these soft tyres, in the harder compound. Now, Sashahara behind Mawson is going to pit. There may be a few cars diving in. It doesn't look like there is at the moment. No, there's only the one car pitting at the moment, and that was Sashahara, who's come out well behind. So, Mawson... Do we try and burn through some fuel and get in front? Let's try and push to get in front of PK. But PK, actually, I tell you what, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to stick behind PK. PK's not a, uh, got a pretty decent car, so I think if we if we're fighting hard to get in front of him, it's 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 wasted because they're not that um, they're not that bad really. So I think if we you know if we fight hard, we're going to be fighting really really hard to get in front of them. Now a few people have come into the pits, as you can see. Norris has pitted, Sato's pitted. Now where do we come out ahead of Norris? We've, it looks like we've gained a lot of time over Norris. Uh, Norris comes out, there you go, he's behind Falcaro. He has closed down quite substantially to Falcaro, but Falcaro was stuck behind him. So that's that's good, that's situation normal. Now Tevera, he is leading this championship, uh, this race at the moment, he's leading the championship as well. Um, and this is where he will start to have to put the hammer down to try and build that bit of a, a gap. Um, we're going to have to see. We're going to see Makino coming into the pits uh, because he is... Oh, I meant to click on him. That's how slow he's going. And he's dropping well away there. That was a bad stop uh, for High Tech GP as they're going to be falling well down the field, unfortunately. Quite a few people are coming into the pits now. It's really mixing up the, the race at the moment because Mawson's still stuck behind PK, but... We're happy. We don't need to push the tyres too hard. Let the race come to us. We're 13.1 seconds behind Tevera. So Tevera is going to close that gap, but of course he does have to pit once more. Um, he'll be pitting. The good thing is, is a lot of people are going to be pitting at the same time, which may allow things to change. You know, like if we're, we're going to see Mawson particularly, he's going to fly up. Falcaro, possibly, he's 21 seconds behind Tevera. I still haven't timed how long it takes to, to do a pit stop. Um, so we could see uh, Falcaro go maintaining his second spot, but I'm not sure if he can because he's he's a bit stuck behind cars at the moment. There he is. There, if he can get in front of Jensen. In fact, let's bump him up a little bit. Let's try and help him get in front of Jensen. So there he is. He's he's in front of Jensen now. That's huge because that's given us a huge. Um, Gap. He's got Nui in front of him, who's what, five seconds ahead of him. So he's got nice clean air now, and he can really start pushing. So we can sort of forget about him. As Mawson's having a look at Pedro PK, so we'll cut to him. But he's struggling a little bit. Aaron has dived into the pits. He's the last one that started on the Super Softs to pit. So keep an eye and see where Aaron pops out. Um, as it looks like he's going to be 16th just when he comes out. Um, we're maintaining 9th place. We're 14.8 seconds. We are falling away a little bit to Tevetta. But of course, what we have to be mindful of is Tevetta's more than likely going to be coming out on the super soft. So he's going to be very, very quick. So we have to be a little bit careful that we don't allow Tevetta to close up too much because we're losing a lot of time at the moment. And we just can't seem to get past uh, Pedro Piquet, who's holding us up. 
that's a shame, isn't it? But that's racing. That is racing. As the tire temperatures are really, really struggling to keep tire to keep the tire temperatures up. It looks like it's not going to rain in this race. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a bit of a, an overtake mode. Let's try and see Mawson get in front of PK a little bit. As he's having a look, he's oh, he was on the outside, but he didn't quite have enough. Um, as he's having another look, he's really, really pushing now because he wants to get in front of PK because Hyman's a bit further up the road, but PK does seem to be slowing us down fractionally. We're 17.4 seconds behind. Um, Tavetta could be on the, the correct race strategy here. But we just can't seem to get past him, can we? So I'll cut back to him. Uh, maybe I might just bump his engine mode down a little bit as we're going to have another look. He's got the inside. He's going to have a, have a look and he's got it. Can he hold on to it? He just about, just, just holds on to it. And he moves up to eighth place now. So that's fantastic because we don't want to be slipping too far behind. Falcaro's still got... A big, huge gap of, uh, of, of nothingness, which will allow him to... He's really closing up. As you can see, his pace is really, really good. Whereas Mawson is, is unfortunately stuck behind all these cars. Because, of course, a lot of them, they're all going to have to start pitting. But they're all going a bit slower than anticipated. Um, so we will back off Mawson a little bit again. Because we don't want these tyre temperatures to climb too much. We still want them to last the race. Remember, the, the soft tyres can last the whole race and we went however many laps it was on the super softs. So I'm not too concerned about um, conserving tyres, but at the same time, I don't want to be burning through too quickly because Tavetta, at the end of this race, he's going to be charging through the pack. He's going to be desperate to catch up to us on those soft tyres, on the super softs, I should say. So, you know, we want to keep that um, that gap as much as possible. And we, we might even have to go into defensive mode, which does mean that we're going to have to start burning through our tyres. But as you can see, Mawson's now stuck behind Hyman. And there's still more cars ahead of him. But these guys are probably going to go another three, four laps. Which will, once that happens, that will free Mawson up. Um, which is quite crucial. But Tavetta, I think Tavetta may have done the correct thing here. And Tavetta may come out ahead of Falcaro. As he's having a look as well. So let's go into overtake mode and see what he can do. See if he can bump Newey. At least if he can get ahead of Newey, that'll really, really help things. As he's having a look, but he's too far back to really do anything of anything. Uh, anything of anything. Anything of any worth, is what I meant to say. I'm, I'm fumbling over my words yet again. All, all in a day's work on Aussie Ducker's channel, eh? But here we go. So, Falcaro is still stuck behind. I don't want to burn through too much fuel. As Joey Mawson's having a look and gets ahead of... Hyman, that's huge. That's four seconds that he's behind Sims now. He can try and close this gap a little bit. Let's see if he can do so. This is really crucial for him now because Gunther's just pitted and come out onto the super softs. So now we've got to start looking because we're going to have, hopefully, we're going to have clean air for the rest of this race because Sims is ahead of us quite a way up. He's battling away with Pelé. You just see him in the distance, um, which does mean that we may not be challenged again but we don't want to lose too much time so i think now we're going to push the tires just a little bit and we're going to have to be mindful again of tire wear just because it's at 50 percent 60 well see muslims are very well 69 percent now caro is actually really struggling with his tires a little bit trying to conserve them so daravala and tavetta have pitted where does tavetta come out and there he is there tavetta is ahead of mawson that's not what we wanted to see that's why they are the champions, unfortunately, or, or leading the championship. But they probably will be the champions, to be fair. I think I'm a little bit ahead of myself here. Um, that's not what we wanted. Mawson got stuck in all that traffic and has come out behind. So we're going to have to back him off a little bit um, because I don't think much is going to happen. Now, Tavetta is, is going to have to fight through this traffic of Sims and Palau. So the race could still come to us yet. If he can't get ahead of them, and as long as they're not pitting, he's got... Oh, they both dived into the pit, so that that's effectively our race done now. Um, Valcaro, however, he's going to have to battle bravely against Daravala and Ericsson. Um, we may have to look at backing off our fuel a little bit. Let's get us back on, on track for our fuel. And we can start to uh, push up our tyres a little bit. Um, Falcaro is the one we're going to be watching because, as you can see, Daravala's on super soft tyres. He's there in fourth place, and he's going to be right off Akira's tail. This is going to be a very, very quick overtake, I think. I don't think 
Valkyrie's going to be able to hold off. And I'm pretty sure Ericsson out in fifth, who's just off the screen, I think he's going to have him as well. But with 10 laps to go, I'm not expecting much out of this. But let's get our fuel back to parity, and then we can up our fuel a little bit towards the end uh, for any potential uh, defensive manoeuvres. As Falcaro was just a, a very minor obstacle in that, wasn't he? As Daravala moves up to third. He's how many seconds behind? He's 4.2 seconds behind Mawson. He could have a real go of this. Um, but now Falcaro's got to worry about Ericsson as well. That was pretty easy, wasn't it, for Daravala? We should have started on the softs. I think that was the correct strategy. But unfortunately, you know, you just don't know. We just didn't know what the weather was going to be like, did we? Which is a, a real disappointment, unfortunately. It would have been nice to have seen what the weather was doing. But, you know, alas, mistakes happen. We, we're still on track for a 32-point haul, which will more than guarantee us, I think, second place. First place, you know, we'd only be six points behind Wooker going into the final race of the season, which would be pretty decent, but I can't see that happening because Tavetta's in a world of his own at the moment um, as he's pulling away a seven-second really seven lead over Mawson. Um, considering the start of this race, I wasn't expecting anything. Practice was was terrible. We lucked out in qualifying. We, we had the right call in qualifying, so we were starting on the front row of the grid, um, but unfortunately, it didn't work for us uh, in, the, in the race strategy. We had to start on the super softs to conserve that. So I think... You know what? I, I think we have to be quite realistic here as Falcaro is about to be overtaken by Ericsson and there he goes there, so Falcaro drops to fifth now. Um, I think we have to be quite satisfied with, with everything, I think, because you know, our, our engine was so poor and yet, you know, so we weren't expected to do very well at all. We lucked out in qualifying, so we had to start on the Supersops. We didn't have a choice. We had to start on them to maintain first and second. And I think if we had started on the softs, we wouldn't be battling for second and fifth. I think we'd be a bit further down in the field. So, because we had that clean air for Mawson in particular, he had the clean air at the start of the race, which was crucial for us. As Falcaro is now battling just to survive in the in fifth place, I don't think that's going to happen. Who's he? He's got Aaron behind him. So yeah, look, I, I'm not too disappointed, really. I mean, first and second, holding on to first and second was always going to be tough. I mean, Tavetta was flying through the field the whole of his first stint you know he started way down here in 12th or 13th or 14th or one of them and he was up to like 6th you know within a few laps and of course he, he'd had that clean air Mawson had to fight through it um, and there you go there's Mawson up there so Mawson is one and a half seconds ahead of Daravala now so I think we can just start to bring up his engine mode a little bit because we want to We've got 50% tyre wear, so I'm going to leave the tyre wear as it is for now, because we may have to bump that up. We've got five laps to go, and Daraval is closing in on Mawson. And that'll be huge for uh, for Carlin, actually. Carlin, look at that. The way things stand, Daravala, Daravala's third place, you know, really pushes Carlin up to ninth. So where did Norris come out? Because Norris was battling, if I can find the correct thing, Norris has slipped down to ninth. That's quite substantial. That's a substantial drop for him. I'd be interested to see if he's... Uh, uh, he had a, a bad pit stop or something like that to be so far behind. But Falcaro is still just about holding on to fifth place. We've got four laps to go, and he's really, really burning through his tyres at the moment. Um, so I'm a bit mindful. He's going to have. To, he's going to the end of the race, whether he wants to or not. Whereas Mawson's got sort of 47% tyre wear, so he can really you know start pushing quite hard that's why i've got him slightly higher he's pushing on his tires whereas back as you can see i'm keeping him on neutral for now i may just up his fuel a little bit just to fight off any potential overtake but this time i'm not going to make the same mistake in doha i'm going to basically do what i did in portugal and i'm not going to talk now and i'm just going to watch the fuel gauges just to make sure nothing changes as we'll bump Mawson back down Keep an eye on Fakero. Fakero is doing very, very well, actually. Now, Aaron's burning through his tyres very, very ferociously. As you can see, look, he's down to 25%. They made a real go of this. They were really, really looking at pushing to overtake uh, Fakero, but it didn't happen for him, as he's going to have to back right off now. So fifth should be secured. We're going to have to up the the tyre wear because Fakero's temperatures are dropping a little bit. Mawson, I think I'm happy with Mawson. Now, Mawson is being closed down a little bit, but again, Daravala is pushing very, very hard. So what I might do is I might even put him up to full attack 
on his tyre wear and I'll just bump his engine mode up a little bit as well uh, just because, just to sort of fight off any potential chance, any sniff of a chance that Daravala has. I don't want him to, to do it because he's closing up. He's closing up quite substantially and he's going to have a look. Mawson, can he hold on to second place? He just about does and he's so fighting so hard. Daravala is having a real go at this as we've got we're on to, what's that, it was, there goes Tevetta there, so Tevetta's nearly coming up to his final lap, he's about two thirds of the way around on his second last lap, his penultimate lap, there you go, I, I was reading a thesaurus the other day, so here we go, the final lap started, Mawson is holding bravely onto second, Falcaro is battling bravely with uh, Aaron, so we unfortunately we can't watch two at the same time, I'd love to have a split screen, hopefully Motorsport Manager 2 allows split screen, then we can have both drivers on the screen at the same time, that'd be really really cool, but we're going to back off the fuel a little bit again, we don't want anything to happen like we did in Doha, as Mawson's got a bit of a lead now, I'm pleased with that, as it looks like he's going to hold on to second, he's got a second, 1.2 second lead over Daravala, so second is his, um, Aaron has fallen behind Gunther, so Falcaro picks up fifth, there's the confirmation, Tevetta is first, Mawson crosses the line for second, Daravala third, there goes Ericsson, and here comes Falcaro, Falcaro with fifth, what a result, I am thrilled to bits, that almost makes up for my stuff up in Doha, second and fifth is a fantastic result, and that really helps us in this championship as well, because we are, what's that, five, six, seven, eight points behind Mooka Motorsport, and we are many, many points ahead of Prima Power Team, as Van Amersfoort claimed nothing, if you can believe that, and I think second place is ours going into the final race, maybe I shouldn't, uh, shouldn't have said that, because that will bite me back in the ass, won't it? But I am absolutely delighted. That was exactly what we wanted. So unfortunately, if you're watching this, Fuoco, you ain't racing in, in Munich. It's just not going to happen. What a result. Second and fifth. I'll take it every day of the week. So there is confirmation then. And Falcaro got the fastest lap as well. I didn't even know that. I didn't see that. I don't really pay too much attention to the fastest lap. And yet he, he got it. So we get an extra two points. Fantastic result. So Tevetta though, he finished 15 and a half seconds ahead of Joey Mawson. I think those 15 and a half seconds came from Mawson being stuck behind traffic. It's as simple as that. He got stuck behind PK. Um, and then he got stuck behind someone else. Or maybe it was Hyman. I think he got stuck behind... That really cost us. Daravala, though, he was fighting hard and he got third. Joel Erickson in fourth. Julian Falcaro picked up fifth. I can't be too upset with him there. Um, and then you got Gunther in sixth. Makino, Aaron, Norris, and Alexander Sims down in tenth place as uh, Newey and PK. Now, Newey, there you go. Newey got demoted two places. It made no difference because they cheated. Van Amersfoort cheated. So, quite frankly, I'm glad that they haven't beaten us in the championship and they're not likely to because cheaters never prosper. I don't ever cheat on this game. I never do. So Ryan Tavetta then, he picks up another race win. I'd love, I'll have to check see how many race wins that is. But Joey Mawson, second. What a great result. And a good result for Carlin as well as they get a man on the podium for the first time. Here's the, uh, the Drivers' Championship. Joey Mawson moves up to third now. Julian Falcaro moves up to fifth. Um, Tavetta's got the championship sewn up, but Mawson, Mawson could could possibly jump Joel Eriksson uh, in the next race and, and move ahead of him to finish second, which would be a great performance considering how poorly he started the year, and if he's now up to third. Valkyrie has been quite consistent, just been consistently average, whereas Joey Mawson's either woeful or amazing. But, you know, whatever. We'll have to we'll have to have a proper season debrief at the end of the next race, so it might be a longer episode than normal. But you know, I have never I 'cause I've never done this before. It's gonna be quite difficult to figure out how to do an episode of uh, of the off season. I may just sort of do a separate one, you know, I might sort of finish the race like I normally do and then do the whole off season as one episode and then carry on. But that's that's something that we'll I'll have to think about. But let me know in the comments if you sort of have have a good idea. Um driver morale, Joey Mawson's back up to sixty three percent. He's pretty happy with that. And he's got a decent relationship with his mechanic. Um Falcaro and his mechanic uh basically starting again by the looks of things which is a, a bit of a shame um yeah cool great result and i'll see you in a couple of days i suppose for the next one let's hope we do a, let's hope we do better so if you enjoyed today's episode guys make sure you pop a big thumbs up on there in fact put a big thumbs up on there because of how well, fantastically well i went in that race you know that's the only way i'm gonna get thumbs up otherwise i just gotta perform amazingly i'll see you next time guys